Hello. Today Road to GH will reveal the suspicions surrounding John's death. He may not be dead and could be secretly planning something. There is much evidence suggesting that John isn't really dead and is quietly carrying out a complex scheme. First, the incident where Sonny shot John at the Quartermain boathouse raises many doubts. Sonny, an experienced figure in the underground world, would never kill someone in a place with potential witnesses and where he could easily be exposed. Moreover, no doctor was called to confirm John's death, which only heightens suspicions about the validity of the event. Other clues also point to the possibility that John may be planning revenge or a strategy to bring down Sonny. Michael, who has a complicated relationship with his father, was the one to announce John's death, but without any medical confirmation, everything seems vague. Furthermore, John's sudden disappearance after the incident isn't just a sign of death, but could be the first step in a secret plan to manipulate those around him and frame Sonny. All of this leads to the possibility that John isn't just pretending to be dead to escape, but also to execute a larger plot. His goal may be to seek revenge on Sonny or even weaken Sonny's entire empire in the underground world, paving the way for a significant strategic move in the future. In fact, John is secretly planning to fake his death with the intention of framing Sonny, dragging him into an undeniable murder case. John believes that by pretending to have died at Sonny's hands, he could have Sonny prosecuted by law and simultaneously shake Sonny's position in the underground world. John's plan is extremely sophisticated, as he stages a tense confrontation between the two at the Quartermain boathouse. With careful orchestration, John forces Sonny into a situation where he has no choice but to shoot, making it appear as self-defense. However, this plan may not succeed as John hopes. Despite falling into the initial trap, Sonny has enough experience and connections to recognize that this is an attempt to frame him. Moreover, Carly and Michael, who are close to Sonny, might start to suspect when the evidence and circumstances of the case seem too perfect and unrealistic. They could launch their own investigation, and the truth that John is still alive may soon be revealed. If John's plan is exposed, he will not only fail to bring Sonny down, but may also face serious consequences, including revenge from Sonny and distrust from his allies. While this elaborate plan could cause initial trouble for Sonny, it seems unlikely that John will achieve the final outcome he desires. Alternatively, John could have been involved with Ava in a scheme to take down Sonny. John saw Ava, with her deep-seated conflict with Sonny, as an ideal ally to carry out this plan. Initially, John approached Ava with the promise that if they worked together, they could not only defeat Sonny, but also take control of his entire criminal empire. Ava, already harboring a grudge against Sonny, agreed to help John, unaware that he was merely using her for his own ends. However, things didn't go according to John's plan. Ava began to suspect his true motives as his actions became increasingly reckless and dangerous. Realizing he could no longer control Ava and fearing she would expose his plot, John decided to eliminate her to protect himself. He secretly arranged for a hitman to kill Ava, and cover up any evidence linking him to the crime. When the assassination attempt on Ava failed, John realized he wasn't just facing a new enemy but also the risk of having all his crimes exposed. Ava, fortunately surviving, became determined to seek revenge, gathering evidence to bring John to justice. In a desperate effort to escape the dangerous situation, John decided to fake his death, hoping this would allow him to evade prosecution as well as Ava's revenge. But even in pretending to be dead, John couldn't completely escape his past. Ava, with her extensive connections in the underground world and unwavering determination, gradually tracked down his whereabouts. John's escape plan failed when the truth about his crimes and conspiracy against Sonny and Ava came to light, leaving him with no way out of punishment. The events surrounding John's death have led General Hospital fans to doubt the truth of the situation. In reality, John's death hasn't been conclusively confirmed. In the world of General Hospital, it's not uncommon for characters to fake their deaths only to return with bigger schemes. This further fuels fans' suspicions that John may still be alive, merely hiding temporarily as he prepares for revenge or a deeper plot. 
One reason fans doubt that John is truly dead is the ambiguous details surrounding the event. The absence of an official doctor to confirm John's death, along with Michael Corinthos's announcement without medical evidence, raises significant questions. Moreover, Sonny, known for his careful calculations, would hardly make such a grave mistake as killing someone in a place full of potential witnesses. Fans also believe that John could be lying low, waiting for the right moment to execute a bigger plan. If John is still alive, he may be meticulously crafting a revenge plot aimed at Sonny and those close to him. Faking his death not only allows John to escape his enemy's view, but also gives him the opportunity to work behind the scenes without being detected. In a more dramatic scenario, John could return with new alliances or even support from Sonny's old enemies to overthrow Sonny and seize power. Given everything that has happened, fans are eagerly awaiting new developments, hoping that John's return will create a new wave of excitement for General Hospital. If this becomes reality, John will undoubtedly be a key player in a larger, more surprising conspiracy.